Okay, let's see here. That took a bit to load. <laughs> Scratchy throat balloon. Was he actually called that through the fight and I just somehow never noticed? Also, yep, I did actually get all the thought peaks for all the clones. Convenient. So scratchy throat balloon, 4600 HP. Like, wow, hold on. What the, um, how much HP did... Kulix have... Finding Kulix is going to be a tricky... There he is. 4096. Wow. 4096. So, Scratchy Throat Balloon had more HP than the Super Boss. Welcome to a post game of Super Bosses. Which honestly surprises me because at my current level, Kulix is not actually that difficult at all. He's kind of difficult, but not like super difficult. And that's kind of the difficulty I was going coming into the post game, expecting all the post game bosses to be at. But no, there is a drastic increase of difficulty. Anyway, Balum has lived in Balum Temple since long before people started calling the. F the since long before people started calling Frogfucius a sage. Back in the days when he had just grown his hind legs. I can tell you that. I, I mean, I can tell you one thing. Balum has lived in that temple since before he was called a frog sage. Strong Mario clone. 400 HP. It's unclear what this Mario clone is thinking. Why can't you use Geshers to convey his thoughts like the real one? Strong Mellow Clone, 300 HP. This monster's belt says Mellow too, so it's doubtful that even Frogfishes could tell him apart from the real deal. Strong Geno Clone, 500 HP. You know, that doesn't really sound like a lot until you see how little damage you could cause to these things. It's noticeable that he doesn't use Geno Boost to power up his allies. Good. Apparently Geno's considerate nature didn't come through in the cloning process. Strong Bowser clone, 600 HP. This Bowser clone would likely try to kidnap the Peach clone as usual, but the Mario clone couldn't care less. Implying that Bowser only does it because he knows Mario is going to care. Strong Peach Clone, 240 HP. If she was copied this faithfully from the real Peach, then surely her shoes, ring, brooch, and crown are all identical to the originals as well. As if the Mushroom Kingdom... I was hoping I could figure out how to word that sentence before I could finish it. But how about we just clone a bunch of peaches, and sell all their crowns. Economy. That would break the economy. It would also make Peach's actual crown kind of worthless. I wonder how she would feel about that. I wonder if that expert bomb maker ever stopped making bombs. Well, I don't have to double check what his wish was, because I could tell whose wish it was. I should change my equipment. You, you, you're afflicted by status ailments. You don't have to worry about fear. You don't have to worry about fear. Uh, 
Let's give you something. Do we have a fearless pin? I'm gonna make a little detart. It's interesting to think I didn't actually buy all the equipment in the game. It lowers your stats out the wazoo, but that's okay. Oh, kind of think of it, I also have the lazy shell armor. I would certainly help with the defense, though I'm not sure who I would want to give it to. Oh, hold on a sec, I just thought. Let me double check what I'm thinking here. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Equip the lazy shell. You don't need a fearless pen. Go ahead and have back the jinx belt to get your attack back up. Not too concerned, actually. So, the Lazy Shell. Not only does it big provide a big boost to your defenses and a big hit, hit against your attacks, but it also prevents all status afflictions and instant death. No, wait. No, let me double check that one. Prevents all statuses... And guards against elemental attacks, rather. Uh, it would be faster just to shortcut my way through the... Oh wait, I can't shortcut my way through the... Unless I pay f to get through the back entrance. Which I'm gonna do. Save a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I could have paid you while I was in the hole. I mean, the game didn't allow it, but hypothetically, I could have. No, I'm just sticking with the ten coins. I just thought of something else. No, fighting Balloon did not unlock the last thing in my battle records. So, still not sure what that's going to be yet. Yeah. Before I fight you, by the way... I have not actually saved since Balloon. Good idea to save. Now, a little strategizing would not be a bad idea either, so I'm going to look up the original fight with Punchinello, see if there's anything potentially I could consider. No, you didn't have any weaknesses. You just cast a... You cast fear against us. So, with this team, I don't need to actually worry about status afflictions. Eh, 
I, I can switch somebody in if I need to change up my strategy. Okay, I am definitely glad that I stayed clear of him while walking around him because he's got a wide trigger for this fight. You finally showed up! Ever since you people beat me, I've been refining my technique. This time, I'm sure to win. Fame and fortune, the fame and fortune, here I come. Mwahaha! <laughs> you think you could beat me and my minions? This I'd like to see. I'm definitely glad that our party members are taking part in these scenes. If this were the Mar original Mario RPG, they wouldn't. Bowser's already famous in his own right, wouldn't you agree? You know it! I was known as a terror on two legs long before you came on the scene. There you have it. Fame and fortune are yours, assuming you can win. Shall we find out? You're... you're that famous Bowser? The chain chomp slinging one? That's fine. I didn't just bring bombs this time. I've got an amazing shield to back them up. Good luck finding any holes in this defense. I'm much higher level now. Defeating the famous Bowser and his minions will catapult me to unprecedented fame and fortune. With this perfect shield and these incredible bombs that can destroy anything, the leveled up me can't lose. If only Mallow had gone first. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by throwing bombs at you. Okay, then. What should I know about you? Well, you've still got 1200 HP, but you've got high defense out the wazoo. Everyone is even more cheap now. You've really leveled up your game. Ah! Well, it's a good thing I decided to save. Also, probably a good thing I gave Mario the lazy shell. Because I'm going to need it. Okay, can I blow up the bombs? Here, let's chill you out. need to learn the timing of that. Oh! 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 What do you think you're doing? You're supposed to attack those fools over there! Okay, so I was just having Peach use a regular attack just in case I might have killed both of the bombs with a special attack because I wanted Mallow to use a uh, Thought Peak on the other bomb, but uh, they both blew themselves up so I guess I'll have to wait until this turn. I, I really need to figure out the timing of that. Maybe I should have given the lazy shell to Peach. What a very interesting gimmick for this fight. I like it. I don't know whether I'll get a chance to actually thought peek the bombs again.
Oh, right! He's got a new weapon. I have to successfully time my attacks to turn him around, don't I? I'm probably going to have to... Pay for the thought peaks of those bombs. That did, in fact, turn you around. Yep, I'm not even going to be able to do that. It is not worth spending my MP like that. Oh, awesome! We can all attack! You didn't turn around! Why didn't you turn around? Oh, this is unfortunate. So, just use regular attacks then. Okay, what is the timing of that weapon? Okay, this time I was prepared. Turn around! Thank you. That is easy enough to time against those bomb attacks. <gasps> I get to thought pick you! Don't feel the timing! Wow, they got a lot of health. So, we can against jump and fire and all of the status afflictions. Hypothetically, I could make them all fall asleep. and get them all turned around. How many times do I need to say, watch out, I'm gonna explode, it'll hurt, before you get it? I already got it. Kind of by accident. That is a shiny shell. Finally got that timing, now that it helps. Okay, here's my strategy. I bought these for a reason. You didn't turn around. You got flame wall? Ah! Didn't expect that to hurt Nalo so hard. Can I have a freebie? Bummer. Turn around. I don't think my sleep strategy was a good one. I'm going to for a heal. Grr. 
I didn't think it would come to this. I've got no choice but to pull out all the stops. What the? Why are you looking at me like that? That's why. Bazaar's minions are too strong. I might be doomed to obscurity after all. Not really. I mean, everybody remembers Punchinello. At the very least, let me level up your chain chomp, Bowser. That way, I can be remembered for something. So this is that rascally chain chomp, huh? Alright, let's level this puppy up. Is it going to become a gold chomp? Yep. All done. The Chain Chomp became a Wonder Chomp. That's gotta be really fun for the Chomp. So, what do you think of my new pal? It's you. It suits you. The two of you make an intimidating pair. Mwahaha! <laughs> Who'd dare to mess with the great Bowser and his most powerful Ching Chomp? No one, that's who. Hey, Punchinello, you're good at this stuff. I'll do you a special favor and let you put those skills to use fix fixing up my keep. Well, now I'm halfway tempted to beat the game again just to see if Punchinello is in it. Yippee! With the famous Bowser asking for my help, Maybe a little fame will rub off on me. My dream has finally come true. Now I can show my face around home with pride. Let me know when repairs on the keep start, and I'll keep and I'll come running. I think that is the very first time I've seen the back of Punchinello. This guy sure gets excited easy. What's so great about being famous? That's, um... Ooh, that's a tough question to answer. I mean... Being famous lets you... Basically live off of ad revenue. So there's that. Who knows? But he's given up making bombs, and that's good enough for me. Wonder Chomp. That is a nice boost to attack right there. That's more like a ultimate weapon that I was expecting. A powerful studded ball and chain that wants a powerful wielder. It is also female. Leveled up Punchinello. 1200 HP. He says he wants to go home famous. Little does he know that he's already well known in his hometown as a goofball who Mario beat twice. Strong Bob Bomb. 999 HP. Punchinello's most powerful bomb created after honing his bomb making skills. Looks like this time he wasn't bluffing about his last resort. Ryan says, I think going in the order that Frogfucius recommends would make the most sense. Well, I'm gonna do that simply because I don't know what all the bosses are. Don't let me forget to buy more pick-me-ups. Assuming that I don't have enough at home. 
think Booster is looking for some company again, Mario. It would be really interesting if Booster and Valentina teamed up in a boss fight. Okay, I had plenty in storage, and I still have one more. Uh... I was about to do something before going after Booster. Oh yeah! I want to figure out, or at least try to guess... Who... Uh, which, which star belongs to who? I won't go through the entire dungeon, I can just fast travel out of here. I want to join Bowser's minions. I got something special to show off. I'd like to try eating a frog someday. The, the stars are not the same. Balloon's wish changed now that we defeated him. As did Punchinello. So, which one would be Booster? Obviously not this one. Which has changed, by the way, after finding Mallow's parents. May Mallow fix the star away. Wishful thinking. I don't think that one is Booster. So it's either this one got something special to show off, or this one. Wait, well, it's obviously not that one, actually. So Booster has something special to show off. Let's save and find out what that might be. My gosh, I better not forget to save during after any of these fights. Oh, and uh, the moment I step forward, cutscene. I was gonna see what happens if I bypass them and tried looking at the door. Well, well, it's people. Did you notice the new addition to my personal railway? This one's engine 23. What? Did you make that yourself? Booster does, in fact, have something to show off. Wyland remembers the trailer showing Booster Rematch. There was a trailer showing Booster Rematch? Wow! I really did a good job not being spoiled. Hmm. You must have a skilled touch to build and maintain that all on your own. That doll saying words! <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna screen cap that one for posterity. <laughs> Pretty neat toy you've got there, pink lady. This body isn't... Actually, I won't bother getting into it. It's too complicated. Booster? Do you not remember everything that happened the last time you saw us? Sure! 
Lots of people showed up at my house, and then there was a big fuss for some reason. Now it's my turn to ask a question. Are you going to stick around to play with me and my engine 23? Should I say 23 or 023? Or maybe 023? It'll be fun! Nope. Then find yourself another playhouse. Oh, there is no walking around this scene. Ooh, the people are back. You'll play with me and my engine 23, right? You bet. I hope that Peach and Gino are still going to be part of the cutscene after, despite the fact that they've been kicked out of the cutscene. Hooray! This, then, this, then this train is leaving the station. Engine 23 is in for maintenance. Sit tight until it's ready to depart. I'm gonna start working. Booster seems to be up to something. That is a pose. That is a new pose. And I says I go with 023. Of course, it's based on the Switch version's release year. Oh yeah, this game did release in 23. The remake that is... I... I... Not sure what to expect from them, so let's go with the most likely. It worked! We're here to support Booster so he can make progress on his maintenance. Moral support. Oh, that can't be good. Booster will work faster. Sorry for the delay. Engine 23 is now departing. Well then. can't bring in Mallow to revive Mallow. So I don't even get to find out what they're stronger weak against. So... I need him to not be like that. So does Square Enix turn Booster into a Final Fantasy Super Boss? I'm gonna start working. Now I wish I had tried sleep. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm probably about to lose, so it's a good thing I saved. You broke Booster's Concentrate- Oh, I can do that? Well, that's good to know. Maybe I have a chance at this after all. I can tell you this, they got plenty of health. Please don't cause first to be fun. Oh. Mid mushroom. Well, now's an opportunity to bring someone in. But, uh... Uh, 
I don't know if it'll help. Probably not. Nope. Raise your level. Defeating lots of enemies will earn experience and levels. This will raise stats like HP and attack, making battles easier. This is not my first game over. But, uh, the game doesn't save the fact that I lost before. Because you have to reload your save. At the very least, autosave is up here. Which, kind of think of it, that means if I did forget to go to the save point, I probably would have an autosave as a backup. Still not taking chances, though. Also, uh, I need a plan. Bring in Bowser. That is my plan. Well, I know they are weak against poison, so let's start with that. And we need to absolutely make sure to keep Bowser's health up. So, each of the Sniffits have more than 2,000 HP. And Booster started with around 4,000. They're all weak against ice, as well as fear, poison, mute. I'm probably going to stick with poison initially. I don't get enough paid vacation. I should get to ca I should get to cash it out at the end of the year. Curiously, the game does remember that I used the mid mushroom last. Gonna start working. No. The poison is definitely gonna help. Weak against jump! And also fear poison mute. I feel like I just knocked my prized impossible grade model off the shelf while cleaning it. Oof. I've done that. I mean, it wasn't necessarily an impossible grade model. But it was a Sioux line engine, and those are hard to come by. Not a steam engine, but still. Well, that's unfortunate. So I've got a time limit with this fight, by the way. I need another strategy. I have another strategy. I will keep it in mind for... Uh, uh, I actually don't know how, how, what I should expect, actually.
No, I need to, like, focus on you. Seriously. What kind of weakness is that? I mean, bringing Booster's Concentration is nice, but he's still going to use that attack at some point. And I'm not entirely sure at what point. Unfortunately, Poison's wearing her off at this point. New plan. Don't know if this will work. Okay, that was the point that I needed to use my strategy. I was hoping that there... The game saved that I lost. Aim for action commands. Press A with good timing. Y yeah, I know. What do you think I've been doing for the past 30 hours? Lazy Shelling Top Thing. One more time, otherwise I might have to come back for this one. Except I don't know what the other ones are. Uh... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Stop. Crap, I thought that was one of the things that what I could actually use. What were my options again then? It was all the other stuff, I guess. Which is not entirely helpful. Fear poison mute. Yeah, that's not helpful. I'm gonna consider this a lost cause. I'm not wasting time using a spell that wasn't actually helpful. Saved after my loss. Try new equipment. Yep. No, I don't get to keep the journal information.
Well, in this case, I'm probably just going to focus on attacking and not worry about the journal stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll pay the frog coins to finish them. Poison gas, really helpful. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it tried to fight fading in the title because I loaded the game before it faded in the title. That's really helpful. Now, I don't have the lazy shell armor, so maybe now my attack will actually be really good. Yeah, that's definitely better. Not on Milo. Good. Snowy. Now, strategy number two. That. Super jump again? No, I need to heal. I'll use a max mushroom. I need to consider my super attack options. You and Gino. I hope my timing is correct. It was correct! Woohoo! Okay. That's gonna help.
I'm being raided? Hold that thought. I'm fighting a super boss. And I've already lost to this boss a few times. So, raid from Lazarus! And yes, my gosh, the post-game bosses in this game... Ridiculous. Oh, I no, I am not at all good at getting 100 hits with that jump. Ah, uh, let's see here. I should consider healing Mario. I'm gonna take a chance. I want a big hit. Now I'll heal Mario. Okay. The... They are getting lower on HP. Actually timed that good. Couldn't block that. And this came in a hurry. Well, I thought for time a little bit at least. I don't appreciate Mallow being low on health. But here's what we're gonna do anyway. Oh, I need to get poison back in. Really need to get poison back in. I don't have, like, a poison mushroom. Oh, I do! Poison! I really wish you could, uh... get working on getting an attack in. I'm on quite the time limit here. Another turn or two, and it's instant game over, basically. Okay, he's got a thousand HP left. But it might not matter. Nope, I lose. I mean, I might have to consider leveling up before this uh, doing this fight. And go after the other super bosses in the meantime. Though I don't know what the other super bosses are yet. Yeah, I'm attempting this fight at level 23. Which probably isn't ideal. I, I need to survive the Sniffet attacks a little bit better. Well, I can at least try one more strategy with that in mind. I just hope I can keep track of the turns like I did last time, because that was really helpful. So start with poison gas. Don't miss. I don't have any more of those. Hold that thought. 
I had the attack variety, not the defense variety. I just hope that it won't be a waste of turns boof boosting my defenses. I'll be back. Four coin. Yeah. Yep, I definitely need these. I'll buy three. I probably won't need more than that. I probably won't survive long enough to... I needed to not go to the world map. I know I auto-saved, but creating a heart save. Is that really a shame that sleep doesn't work? That would be so, so useful. Oh, I just thought of something else that would work. Oh, 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 okay. Start by raising our defense. That'll be a lot more manageable. Also boost our attack! Yeah, by the way, I'm not actually that great at Super Jump. I just got really lucky with that one attempt. Oh, I think I needed to bring in Gino. I think that's what I did the last time. Yeah, oops, I made a mistake. Well, uh... See how this plays out, I guess. So, revive Mario. Body Bracer will ensure that we don't lose more than half our health every turn, at the very least, and get some attacks in. Attack power, I should say. Though I don't think I'm going to win this attempt, because I already messed up my strategy. That doesn't help either. No, we need you to be able to hit hard.
As well as you, I guess. Uh, oh, that helps. But I'm probably about to lose regardless. Nope, I'm not about to lose. Uh, I don't have a... Well, let, let me check just to be certain here. No. First off, I can't revive a party member who's not on my active team. Second, so long as I have a full alive team, I cannot switch to dead party members. Oh wait, did I win? I wasn't paying attention. How much health did he have? Regardless, hit hard. Hard, very hard. Hit all the hards. It's not over yet. Oh! Well, apparently I was dumb, and that one time I was trying to switch to a dead party member, it was Mario's turn, and I can't switch with Mario. I guess. The one time I tried, I goofed. Wait, no, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit the back button, but there is no back button. So if I hit this, okay, we'll bring back in Bowser, so I can revive Bowser. Although Bowser's about to die. No, he's not! But he doesn't have any magic. Okay, break that concentration with your special weapon, feel the timing, whatever. A maple syrup will do. I didn't really feel kind of dumb. I was doing things the hard way because I wasn't paying attention to my options properly. That happens on occasion. It's kind of unfortunate when it does. Wouldn't mind getting another poison in. Okay, so... Without the Sniffits, it seems like... Oh, that's... that's unfortunate. Without the Sniffits, he's not so quick to finish fixing the machine. So, maybe I actually do win. Well, that could have taken less attempts. And we got Booster's Charm. Ah, <laughs> now that was a fun game. Weird that my eyes are leaking, though. I thought I was too happy to cry. Booster, sir. You forgot to attach that thing to your engine 23. 023. Whichever. What? That explains why I didn't win the game like I was supposed to. Playtime's over, everyone. My train's going back to the station for repairs. Here, take that part I wasn't using. Stick it on that neat doll of yours so you can play more. So we got two things, and I forget what the other one was already. Did did we get a prize for defeating Punchinello and Balloon besides the new weapons? 
Got the Stella 023. Oh, what a generous gift. This is a quality device. I think I'll have some fun with this indeed. That doll saying words. Yes, well, about this body. In order to search for the star pieces, I inhabited a doll belonging to a young boy named Gaz, and... I don't have time for your excuses. In fact, you should be leaving now. Get lost! Okay, I'm being told that this is the amulet that I would have gotten from the curtain minigame. Yep, sure enough. Why does it have such a bad description? So, Gino, have a new weapon. That is... Not as much of a boost to attack as I was expecting. A cool weapon that Booster gave you. You disappoint me, Booster. You disappoint me. If and when I get around to editing this episode at YouTube, this episode's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna need to edit out the field attempts, but I don't want to edit them out entirely because new strategy was invented during those attempts. Yeah. And they're still hanging around. Okay. Uh. Wireland's pointing out probably don't have any time for any more bosses. They do be long and hard. I was, in fact, taking a moment to figure out whether I have time to go for another boss. I mean, the raid was nice. But I do have a limit of time that I can stream here. So um, I'll, just, I'll just go ahead and end the stream here. If you've enjoyed today's stream, feel free to give me a follow. I try to stream every Tuesday and Saturday. How many super bosses do I have left? Two? Three? I was just told and I already forgot. But we'll continue the super boss fights in the next stream. With that said, thank you for the raid, Lazarus, as usual. And thank you all for watching. Wow, four more? Really? Four? Thought it was further along than that. Wow. Well, that's going to be the entirety of the next stream, then. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.